Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Our friends just left. They were here this weekend, and uh, we decided. Uh, well, we r- we did s'mores with them. Yeah. On our patio, and we're like, why not? Why not do that now for you guys? We had some leftovers. Yeah. And we were getting hungry. And, and we thought, we, oh, let's vlog about it. Yeah. And we also wanted to show you a few pictures of our childhood because why not get to know us even more? I was sitting on the couch, and I was like, we haven't showed, like, our viewers, our friends, they should our call friends. you guys, our friends. Oof. Is that thinking heavy? That is so heavy. <laughs> We're <laughs> shooting on a on our camera that we use for our Florida E ticket, so it's, like, huge. Cause I, we I can't, lost the extra battery. He lost the extra battery. The battery point and the shoot point. that we use, so we're just going to use the big one tonight. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I thought, you know, they haven't really seen – they've seen – you guys saw where I grew up in a past vlog, but not really how we looked when we were kids and – He's from California, but we, God, we really, I want to go back to California now. But anyway, so we want to show you, uh, yep. show you some pictures. All right, let's get to it. So we're on our patio, obviously. But so look, look at this is a big patio. It's a big patio. It's not done at all by any means. That shouldn't be outside, but it is. It's Gavin's. What, what is it again? Gavin? It's a. They call it a buffet. <laughs> they call it a buffet. And um, it's vintage. It was his like great grandmother's, and um, it's really nice. It has some scratches on it, but um, that's going back into storage. We're gonna have a bar here, uh, and then obviously we're not having any of this out here. We're gonna have we're gonna get a new couch and a love seat and a dining table to put out here, and this is our makeshift. Look at this. That's our makeshift uh, s'mores. It's catching on fire. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna go first with showing our pictures. I have not too many, and again, they're not very exciting. Heard probably what we're gonna do with Patrick's, but um, I have some really cute baby ones. But these were the ones I like could get to out of storage. These aren't in storage, so uh, I think this is my yeah, this is my first birthday. So turning one years old, and. I had already had the cake, and the girl next to me, her name is Caitlin, and we were born on the same day. She was born an after me, an hour after me, and there we are again in our high chairs. And this was not too much. Well, I don't know how old I was in this picture, but this was me at the beach with my floaties on, and I was obsessed with my floaties. I loved having them on. You know, I learned to swim pretty young, but it's a good picture at the beach. I feel like I'm in the movie The Sandlot, which is both Patrick and I, it's one of our favorite films. You take the s'more, you take the chocolate. I don't know the actual words, so don't quote me on this. The lines, I should say. But s'more, that movie made s'mores look so good. Okay, so. Good. This is me in my awkward 13-year-old stage right before I got braces and hanging out in my favorite chair that I loved. And then, then I, I got awkward, especially when I got the braces. My mom would love to just take random pictures of me on the weekends, on Saturday mornings, just doing stuff around the house. Just, is that Uno cards? These are Uno cards. That was a game that I played for hours with my grandmother, like obsessed with Uno something we would play for hours just oh I spent a lot of weekends with my grandma and my mom so yeah they would just take pictures that was just me in the morning my jammies were still on and I was just doing a house of cards which I, I think that was the only time I ever did that and this is a cool one of my dad I, just, I don't know so was all slicked back and then I looked like a hot mess this is our eighth grade like end of the year graduation party in our cafeteria and I just look really confused. Still had the braces on and I had like the shaggy Justin Bieber type of hair before Justin Bieber was a thing. He probably was, I don't know where he was at that point in time, but not in the media yet. And then this was also eighth grade. Funny story, I was kind of a loner in middle school, so I um, went to this eighth grade dance party, but I did not go with anyone and did not go to like hang out with friends. I went to help our photographer, uh, Mr. Sherwood, who did the yearbook, 
help him set up his photo booth thing, and so I was his test dummy. He took this photo and he gave it to me, but I was there with my camera. I always had a camera with me growing up in middle school and high school. And then awkward, but this was in high school. This was sophomore year. Sophomore or junior year. No, it was sophomore year. And this was a girl I had a little fling with, and as you can see, it was just awkward. And yes, that was a very rare photo right there. But that was homecoming. I think that was, I only went to homecoming, I think, twice. And then graduation was like one of the happiest days of my life. Fun fact about graduation day in high school. This was my first day of training at Universal, so I had gone to work that morning and did my first day of on-the-job training, and then I had my cap and gown with me at work and switched out and changed, and let, they let me leave a little early to go to Amway to graduate. So how was everyone's week? I feel like this, this is like a live chat, but it's not. But comment down below, let me know how your week was, your weekend. Ours was good, like we said before. We had our friends in town. So it was quite busy. It was very busy. And then we, last week we came out with our uh, first show, The Fraternity. We hope you all liked it, enjoyed it. Favorite photo with my grandma. She's like amazing. So, my, oh, she's, just, she's awesome. So that is my favorite photo of us together. And that's just a photo of her alone with the dog I grew up with named Bernie. She was obsessed with the dog, so she actually took the dog after I couldn't take care of him anymore. And then this is the most recent photo. This was from, what, two years ago? My mom and I went on a cruise, Disney cruise, when I worked there. And the funny story about this is that we were so sleepy and so full from eating at this restaurant that night, she fell asleep during the meal. <laughs> and oh, I started dozing off. And we were struggling. Like this photo, she's like, we have to get a photo in front of this restaurant. It's one of those restaurants you pay extra for. And I was like, we're so tired though, and so we're struggling to stay awake. She had to hide her cane that she walked with, and it was just like, looking at this, I look so fat and sunburned from our days on the beach and stuff, but it's just funny to look back, because that moment was so uncomfortable, but it is a cute photo, and it was a fun time with my mom. So, those are my photos. There's a lot of them now, but yeah, those are just some quick ones that we grabbed. Pepper. Hello. Say hello. Hello out there in TV land. Hello out there in television land. <laughs> okay, so are my pictures. Okay, so my first one I picked it was when I played basketball. I played basketball for about six, seven years when I was a kid, and I have proof. Not many people believe me that I did sports when I was a kid. My next picture is, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm right over here. I sing. Yes, I sing. And this is another proof picture that I sing. This was back in like high school. I think it was my freshman year in high school. I was singing a song. You can see me with my eyes half closed. I don't know. It's cute. And this, this is just too fierce for words. I was in Santa Barbara. I was on a, I, I had a report with my friend Jillian. We had to do this report on Santa Barbara Mission, and here's the picture. You, I was just too fierce for words to take the picture, and she wasn't having it, as you can see. Uh, my other one was uh, my first musical I was in. This was uh, Damn Yankees. I was a freshman in high school. Uh, I'm right there in a purple shirt. Damn Yankees, it's a good musical. This next one, I love this picture of me when I was a kid. Uh, my parents took me to the San Diego Zoo that day, and they got they snapped this before we went into the park. Oh, Pepper. Like the zoo. Like the zoo. <laughs> like, the zoo. like the zoo. But yeah, so I love that picture. Well, let's play some checkers real quick here. I love this game, very competitive. Let's, let's do it. Pepper! Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Pepper? Mm. 
My next one is uh, graduation. Graduation. And I love grandma. that photo. And uh, another amazing day. I made it finally. No more high school. Thank God. I love how we both chose our high school graduation photos. Oh yeah. And then this was my first time at Disney World. I was at Epcot with my dad. Really? Mm-hmm. My first time. And I said, I'm here. Oh my God. How old were you? Oh gosh. This was... Uh, we came before uh, kindergarten. This is pre-kindergarten. This is my pre-kindergarten like, what, So what age is that? Like six or five? I was six years old on my first visit, so... Look, look I give, I'm giving you a little shoulder, a little pop of the shoulder. Oh, oh God. Too much. Too much. My next one is uh, some of my good friends, and uh, we were in New York. Not my best picture, but we were in New York. I just love the memory, because we were in New York in uh, April of 2001, and... Uh, we toured the city, it was amazing, it was beautiful, and look at that hair. That was when I thought I was like so cute because I loved NSYNC and Lance was my favorite. Oh my god. Little did I know that he was going to be gay too, but um, I wanted frosted tips like him, so that's why my hair was like that. <clears throat> my last one is this, my group picture. This was uh, Winter Formal. Um, I think my sophomore year, but this is my clique. This is my posse. We were all in choir together, and we always hung out together. And um, this one right here, on the far right, in all black, his name's Chris, and he is my one of, one of my best friends ever, ever, ever. We still talk. I just talked to him the other day, and he's a um, a successful uh, PA over in Hollywood. California, so he's living out his dream. I'm out here on the East Coast, living out my dream with my fiance. But uh, yeah, so um, I still talk to a lot of these people. My friend Bethany, that was my one of my first girlfriends. She's a professional ballerina. She tours literally the world with her ballet company, and um, it's just I'm obsessed with these people. I love them to death. Those are my pictures. I think you lost. When not you say he lost? I think he's... Yeah. What I Whatever. Well, that was a cute little fun evening doing s'mores and showing you guys some old pictures and beating Patrick at a game of checkers. I could keep going. It's like Uno with me. I love Uno and checkers. I could play those for hours, but I know he's... I need a glass of wine. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the new subscribers, and yep. make sure to watch Photo Finds with Gavin tomorrow, tomorrow on Attractions Magazine, and then watch The Fraternity on our channel on Thursday, yeah. and then of course, the Florida E-Ticket on Saturday, because Florida E-Ticket this week is special. It's going to be Unlocking the Magic. Unlocking do, 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 do. Epcot. 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 I love Epcot. But this camera is heavy, mm -hmm. so we're going to go. And we'll see you guys on Thursday. Boom, boom, boom. And remember, y'all can, can do the impossible. impossible. Bye. Bye.